Urban Investigations Data Collection Lots of the data you use in an urban investigation is likely to be primary data. This is data which you collect yourself and with the people around you. The surveys you choose to carry out will depend on the question you are investigating, but this nugget will examine the most common quantitative and qualitative methods. Environmental quality surveys are used to measure the look and feel of a location. Different aspects of the chosen environment are given a score, often using a scale such as 1 to 5. Factors like building condition, vegetation, the presence of litter, etc. can be assessed as relevant to the study. Even though this type of survey assesses the quality of the surroundings, it is still a quantitative method as scores are being applied. Another quantitative technique is a pedestrian or traffic count. These involve counting how many vehicles or people pass a predetermined point within a time frame. Directions can also be specified, for example, towards town or out of town. Land use surveys can be completed by mapping or tallying how an area is being used. Surveys can be carried out along transects using a systematic sampling strategy to select the locations to record land use. For example, land use can be recorded every 10 metres. The sample can also be made more manageable by only recording the ground floor land use or only land use on a single side of the road. Land uses can be categorised for ease of analysis. A popular way of doing this is to use the rice pot system, where codes are recorded for each land use and further letters added to subdivide each group. A questionnaire is designed to find out the views of the public. They might collect a mixture of qualitative and quantitative data. By asking questions such as how has the centre of the urban area changed over time? A description of the urban area can be gained. By asking people to score features or to select from categories of answers, quantitative data can be generated. Other qualitative methods include field sketches with annotations. Photographs are also very useful and can be annotated later or even during your visit with the right app. Summary A variety of primary data collection methods can be used in urban investigations. Quantitative methods include environmental quality surveys, pedestrian and traffic counts, land use surveys and questionnaires. Qualitative methods include questionnaires, field sketches and photographs. Keywords Qualitative data Data that doesn't involve numbers or counting. Quantitative data Anything that can be counted, measured or given a numerical value.